There's not oodles and boodles of this. This material hasn't, it's, it's okay. They, they, um, they disallowed uh, the harvesting of it about 10 years ago. And uh, so I know it's at least 10 years uh, old, but I would say it's more like 20 or maybe even 30 years old that it's been there. Now, it has all, uh, it's got all the provenance that we need. It had all the CITES permits, it had, it was legally harvested, it, you know, everything. I mean, anything in coral has to be. But if you want coral and you want it in a natural form, and you know, we used to have every color of coral uh, in the rainbow. We had black, we had gold, we had red, we had angel skin. Um, you, know, I, you know, I could go on and on and on. Uh, you don't see any of those colors. This was one of the colors we had. This was a natural orange. Um, this doesn't even exist. I mean, go try to find this. I mean, it's impossible. Well, Jay, if anybody missed, if anybody wants to see more, you can actually watch the presentation Jay did with Lynn on our web, uh, web, website, <laughs> website, I don't know what our website is, on our website at hsn.com. Uh, but a real opportunity if you love something that's special. Talking of special, in about 10 minutes, I will permanently remove uh, what is blocking the view of this amazing purple shower, right? Folks, in this hour, we will be presenting a once in a lifetime opportunity on a mind find that first appeared, made its television debut 25 years ago. For nearly two and a half years, Purple Sharite, a single source stone from Russia, was Home Shopping Network's biggest success story from Jay King. And then just like that, like a thief in the night, it was gone. 18 months ago, Sharite reemerged in double and triple A grade quality. Uh, with a story that Jay will certainly tell us. Tonight we are saying goodbye to Sharite once again. Will it be another 15, 18, 20 years? I don't know. But tonight will be a once in a lifetime opportunity to get something out of this world. Um, let's begin at the beginning though, because out of this world is how you have to describe this. Blue opal. Hands up who loves opals. Hands up who's aware of blue opals that look like this. I had about five emails earlier today about this very single piece of jewelry. There is a lot of excitement about it, and for good reason. We're on a special price of $125.45 to celebrate the launch of this particular necklace. Uh, as you look close, you're gonna see some gorgeous shades of blue all the way through. I do have a pair of earrings and a ring that I'll kind of sneak in there in a little bit. Jay, tell us about blue opal and why uh, as if it's not already obvious why we need to own this. Okay, you know, number one, <clears throat> this is a natural blue opal. Um, I've been doing this for 45 years. In 45 years, there have been four occasions, four, that uh, I've been able to obtain blue opal. My very first blue opal came from South America, came from Peru, Peruvian blue opal. Um, that material now, if you can find it, is like liquid gold. I mean, you know, the you just don't have it. The price is through the roof. Um, then I had another uh, uh, blue opal from America and then another blue opal from Africa. This is a blue opal from India. Now, we released this. Uh, we're the ones that were the first to put it on air, right? We did that a few years ago. We went through all of our stock. We had zero material. Um, this is the first design back out of the new material that we got in. And when I say got in, I'm talking that we got this in like nine months ago, right? Ten months ago. That's how long it takes, guys, from the time that I, you know, have it, can work it, do a design, and can put it on a show. I mean, Light speed for us is six months. Okay, that's light speed. <laughs> things, some things go on for a year, two years, three years. I've got projects that I've been doing for five years. Okay, so what makes this interesting, number one, it's the only natural blue opal that I'm aware of. There is no other blue opal on planet Earth right now that I'm aware of. You know what? If you know somebody's got a blue opal mine, then uh, don't keep me in the dark. Send me a call. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, we'll, we'll work something out, okay, guys? Um, but as far as I know, and I don't know everything, but I I do know a little, you know, we specialize in turquoise and opals, and and I I see my fair share of opals, and I, I think I saw more than my fair share of, of turquoises. And I will tell you this, here's what makes this interesting, okay? 
there's the mine right there. See that huge open pit mine? Yeah. Right? Okay. What was the only thing that you didn't see in that mine, Adam, when you're looking at it? Well, I, did, I just didn't see any material. I didn't see anything in there. You didn't see any equipment. Right. You know, there's nothing. There's no trucks. It's empty. There, there's no bulldozers. There's no front end loaders. <laughs> there's no people. Okay. So then you would say, well, how is that? That how's that, you know, where it came from. Right. And that's what's so crazy about this. And I have to tell you, I mean, if you really want to, you know, and, and this is what makes, uh, you know, mine find so special, even the materials that we get, think about this. Okay. So you have an abandoned mine and I don't know what that mine was. I, it was either tin, nickel, something like a lead. That's what they were mining in there. Um, you know, uh, you know, an open pit, like mine, like that, I mean, you're looking at millions and millions and millions of dollars to do that. They didn't open it up, but they never reclaimed it. They didn't reclaim the mine. And um, so obviously whatever they were mining was mined out. Well, so it went by the wayside. The local villagers that live around that mine, um, of course, started going down in the mine. And as they're walking down in that mine, and you can see this, I, if I had a specimen, I'd show you. There are opal seams, blue opal seams that are running through the walls down there. Now it's not all the way through the mine, but there are specific areas. So the local villagers, being very, you know, um, you know that, you know, there there are people that live by their wits, right? Um, very resourceful, and they um, they take pieces of rebar, steel rebar. They heat one end of it, they sharpen it and bang it down. Mm. And it, so it's like a, you know, like a big pry bar, right? Yeah. Like a pry. Yeah. They go down and they pry that seam opal out of there. They pry, pry the opal out and they collect it on a daily basis. You know, and, you know, some days they get really nice uh, material and quite a bit of it. Some days they don't, but no more than like a pound, two pounds, three pounds. Okay. Sure. I mean, then what they do is we have a source, a friend of ours, that they take it to, and he uh, looks at it, he weighs it, he gr grades it by size, color, grade. And then of course the higher grades, like that real clear blue, the clear, clear blue, the royal blue, um, which you see in you know those beads that are just clear, clear, you can see one right there. The, the, this, that's what they call royal blue. He pays more for that material. The other variegated or striped materials is still very valuable, but it's not as valuable as the, just the clear, clear, clear material. And um, then when he gets enough put together, he gives us a call and then we buy it. So we had run out of this material. This was the next load that they had put together. And it took them over two years, almost two and a half years. And then it took us a, almost a year to be able to transport it and get it in a design and get it to your here. You're seeing it for the very first time. This is the first new opal design that we have out of this material. So I'm excited about it. It's a great look and it's an unbelievable, just an unbelievable value at, at this price. Blue opal necklace, final 300. I do have earrings and a ring that we're gonna give you the details on as well. So if you love this blue and it really is so spectacular. Blue opal, blue opal, 125 for the necklace. The earrings are just $79.50. And that ring, which is available in sizes five through 12, and that's all stamped nine to five sterling, is also just a little over $79. So $79.75, we are doing flex pay on all of the collections tonight in J. King's line. So that's awesome. Uh, we want to move along to something else this time, opal in chalcedony. Opal in chalcedony. This is a multicolor autumn opal. And just the name of it, uh, it just screams desirability. Let me let me grab this off because again, this style may look similar. We had a twinkle blue in the last hour, similar shape and design. It's a signature J King, but it shows off the gemstones in a wonderful way. I love this, it's like a painting, it's like a picture. The more you look, the more you see, the more the story unfolds. Lowest price we've ever added at at 139.87. Um, only a couple minutes here. I know the anticipation's building for our 
once in a lifetime opportunity on Sharite. So we're excited about that. That's gonna be big. I know Jay's geared up as I am for that moment in time. Jay, tell us a little bit about Opal in Chalcedony. They are letting me know there's 150 now remaining. I don't think I've ever seen this before. No, you haven't, because the only, well, you have to see it at Mine Finds. <laughs> the only so place. if you weren't tuning in that, that day, Adam, it's your fault. It's just your fault. <laughs> it you always have, is. You have to, you have to take, a, <laughs> take a little bit of uh, uh, responsibility here. Well, now, th you know, this, here again, um, I love this, I love this, and not only do I love the materials, I love the design. Yes. Basically because I designed this, so. <laughs> <laughs> not biased at all. Sounds, see, I'm really not. So anyway, I'm just messing with you. Okay, so here's what makes this so unique. Think about this. Okay, you know, like I said before, the two things we specialize, we specialize in, number one, turquoise. Turquoise is from all over the world. We have more productionable turquoise than anybody else that I'm aware of. Now there's a lot of people that have turquoises. I, I have a huge uh, collection of turquoises. M the majority of them are mined out. They, you know, they're, they're no longer. Um, but as far as productionable material, I think that we have the highest uh, amount that I'm aware of. Opals, that's my second thing. That's my go-to. That's what we're known for. Uh, turquoises from around the world, opals from around the world. This is a rare, unique, mine find. This is Ethiopian autumn opal. So it's a very rare form. It's almost like a, it's almost like a form of a jelly opal. And then you've got chalcedony. And then, and the chalcedonies in this are just the, the round beads. Those are from Madagascar. But look at the characteristics of the opal. Is this really amazing? And you, you, know, you see it on uh, um, Christina and, you know, it looks one way. Then the one that you're holding, right? Yeah. They're the same design. Both beautiful. They're the same design, but what are they? They're one of a kind designs. There's no two of these that will be totally identical. So when you're buying one of these, you're really buying a one of a kind design. You're buying a one of a kind piece. So I think that that's cool. And you have something, uh, you know, again, big, bold, and you have a material that's just not out there in the marketplace. This, this material is not in the commercial uh, marketplace whatsoever. Jay, we are, as you would imagine, close to a sellout now on this. This is genuine opal in Chalcedony on sale at the lowest price ever. If you were to ask me when the next airing is of Opal in Chalcedony, the answer would be there are none. There are none scheduled and there are no more currently in the assortment. So this really is a special, special find. Um, I'll let you know when it's gone. Clearly, you can see there's 100 left. If you dial right now, you'll be able to snag one of the final 100. Incidentally, 18 inches, but it goes to around 21 inches with the extender. Well, this is a big show for Jay and I. As we celebrate Thanksgiving week, we do have big deals, including a once-in-a-lifetime Black Friday special. Behind this beautifully packaged gift is a Sharite necklace. Some call it Purple Majesty. And that is because the necklace behind here is truly something to behold. 25 years ago, Jay King launched Sharite to the world on the Home Shopping Network. Two years later, gone. No more. There was zero left. Poor quality available, but not premium grade, double, triple A grade. Well, 18 months ago, Jay uh, was in a very fortunate position, was able to bring some back. We'll tell you about it. Tonight marks the end of that journey for the second time. Will it be another 15 years before we see Shara again? I don't know. I do know it's beautiful. I do know it's bold. I do know it's unique and it is something you have to see. We'll do it in around 25, 30 minutes. No more, I promise you. Um, let's do a three minute special. Let's keep that ball rolling. Crystal Praise, uh, beautiful, look at the colors here. Crystal Praise, a pendant necklace. You get the 18 inch necklace, goes again to around 21 inches with the pendant. Look at the colors that you've got. I only have 70 of the necklace. Um, I have 130 of the rings available as well. The ring is in sizes five through 12 and is facet, I would say fascinating, it is fascinating, but it's also faceted. Um, Jay, we love Chris Appraise, it's a customer pick. Tell me what I'm seeing when I look at this because it's a, it's a very unusual color. Okay, and this comes from Australia. It's a, it's a, a new material. When I say new, we found this, um, I found this uh, 
about four years ago, five years ago. Um, and this is uh, before all the Christian praise, or the majority of the Christian praise we were using came from the uh, Belmont um, deposit. Um, I was involved in that early in the development of it. And um, eventually we ran out of that material. Um, so we had other people, other miners bringing us material, bringing us, and this was one of them. And this is what, uh, it's a brand new chrysoprase and it's called Boulder chrysoprase. So it's like Boulder Opal, where you've got that real high, high grade chrysoprase. And I'm talking like semi-precious gem grade chrysoprase that is encased in a matrix. You can see, see the host rock there? Mm. And that's the what they call the Boulder part. So you have Boulder turquoise, so you've got the, uh, or boulder turquoise, uh, boulder chrysoprase. So you have the real high grade chrysoprase within the host rock melted into the host rock. So very unique, very different. It's a great look. And here again, what I love about this, they have, every one of them has its own character, right? They're all uniquely different in their, in their own right. There are no two of these that are identical. But if you like things that are kind of, you know, um, kind of uh, unusual, unique, different, rare. This is something you might want to consider. I want to show you the ring real fast. The ring is um, bold and beautiful. I love the shape of it. And again, that faceting just brings it to life. I love when you do this, Jay, because it just, it, it adds such an extra element. Um, a fanciful design for sure. The reviews said it perfectly. This necklace is a two-in-one because whilst you can certainly wear it, that glorious pendant, I could remove that and just wear the necklace alone and you've got a beautiful look. If you'd like to try it on, be our guest. Jay and I would love to send this to you. You've got till the end of January with our return policy to decide, is this for me or is it not for me? And if it's not for you, that's okay. You just send it right on back and of course you get your money back. Well, what a story we've got next. Let's settle in, get a nice hot drink, get cozy, because Jay is going to regale us with the story of Norwegian's national stone. The national stone of Norway, found in only one location on God's green earth, um, rare on the American market. So, look at this. You know, I was telling you earlier that uh, one of my colleagues, the amazing Kelsey, who is helping me uh, wonderfully tonight on our studio floor with all the jewelry, this was her favorite of the entire show. This beautiful color, Jay. We have earrings and a ring. Tell us about pink thulite. Okay, we're calling it pink, but it's, it's, it's a very unusual color, right? And it's natural, right? This comes from Norway. It's the Norwegian National Stone. As far as I know, I, I only know of the one deposit. And we get this directly from the miner. Its name's Christian. And uh, Christian um, has a contract with the farmer mm -hmm. where this material is located. And this is located, um, it's on a, like a rocky outcropping, like a, it's kind of like a small hill, like a knoll. And it's surrounded by what we would consider swamp. Now, if you live in Florida, you're thinking swamp, and you're thinking, <laughs> oh, they don't have alligators, Jay, right. in Norway. Right. And stuff like that. No, <laughs> it's a, a wet area, swampy area. That, but it, it's surrounded literally by the swamp. It's you know like the water is anywhere from you know two inches to 12, 18, 20 inches deep. The main thing is that, you know, there's no bottom to it. So it's very, you know, um, very marshy. And so they can't get any equipment in there. They mine this for two months out of a year during the summer. Christian takes a crew in there. They walk in, they carry in all the equipment. So they only can take in hand tools, right? They have uh, pneumatic jackhammers, pry bars, that's the extent of it. There's no, they can't get uh, back hose or track hose or front end loaders or rippers, any of that. They can't get it. It's all literally mined by hand. Then what they do at the end of the mining season, they, as they harvest this material, they put it in, in these white canvas lift bags. And then at the, after everything's cleaned up and everything and they're all done, they bring in for um, one day, they bring in um, a commercial helicopter. Um, and it's a, a, a 
a turbine um, uh, helicopter, so it's got a lot of power to it. And they come in and they hook up to those lift bags and th that's how they get it out of there. They lift it up underneath the helicopter wow. and helicopter to, the, to a, a nearby dirt road and then they stack them all there and then uh, the helicopter, they only do it for a day. I don't know if you've ever rented a, a helicopter, Adam. N not um, this year, Jay. <laughs> I, I've rented, I, I've rented uh, numerous helicopters in my lifetime. <laughs> okay. oh my God. Now, can you fly a helicopter and, as well, Jay? I can tell you a funny story. I, you know, I am a, I am a proficient pilot, fixed wing uh, pilot, and I have a lot of hours. I mean, a lot of time. I've been flying my whole life, wow. pretty much. And um, I have, uh, 10 official hours in a in a Bell 47, and I was going to add on my helicopter rating to my private, you know, my commercial license. Okay. And at the end of it, the uh, the help the uh, instructor he patted me on the shoulder and he said, Jay, I don't know how to tell you this, but some people just aren't meant to be <laughs> dual rated. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Adam, I got to tell you, I could do it all. You know, I love helicopters, and they're really, but because I was a fixed wing pilot for so many years, right. and still am, um, you know, it's totally different things. So if you can fly a helicopter, uh, and guys who are really good, it's like part of their body. Uh, but it's not the cheapest thing you're ever going to do. Even a small helicopter, you know, you're looking at, you're looking at five, six hundred uh, dollars an hour for a, like a Robinson R22 or an R44. Um, you know, a helicopter, commercial hel helicopter like this, you're looking at, um, you know, uh, depending on the size of the, the helicopter, three to $5,000 an hour. Wow. So anytime that they're, the, I mean, the clock start, stop, starts when they start the engine. Right. And the clock stops when they stop the engine. So, um, you know, it's a very uh, expensive thing for them to do. So, you know, it's just not like they just back up and they load this. I mean, it's really uh, a work of love and a labor of love for them to harvest the through light. If you look at this, though, look at the grade of this material. Um, we had an exclusive on it for over three years. Um, this was something that we found in Tucson. That's how we met Christian originally. And um, for three years, we every year we bought up everything. So this is material that we have left over, I guarantee you. This is the finest of the finest. You, you really, it's really amazing because you don't see this material really out and about. I've been all over the world. Um, it, you, they, of course, they have it in Norway, um, but you find it a little bit here and there in Europe, mm -hmm. but I've never really seen anybody um, in America. There are a few people online that'll have a ring or something like that, but you don't see anybody that has oodles and poodles of this material. It's a really unique, unusual, uh, natural material. And here again, this is the natural through light, Norwegian through light. And I just want you to pay attention to the color, the finish, the polish, the fastening on this, just truly unique, a really amazing, amazing uh, natural material. Yeah, that ring is available as well. The ring, if you'd like to order it, you can get that in the through light. We have the earrings to go with. If you're loving that color of the through light, it's a fabulous collection. Well, the time is drawing close. Best guess is less than 15 minutes before our once in a lifetime Black Friday opportunity on a necklace that is hard to put a price tag on. How do you price something that's just not really available anymore? It's hard, right? I'm looking at Shaw Wright and you will be too in 15 minutes time. I call it Purple Majesty and you'll see why. It's incredible. A journey that goes back 25 years is coming to a close this evening for the second time. Let's keep going. Next up, Spider Mountain. Notice what I see, you see clearance. I told you there's too many. I, I, normally when we do these shows for Black Friday, Thanksgiving week, I like to give you a heads up, a clearance deal's coming in five minutes or 10 minutes. I said, scrap that. There's no way I can do it tonight because so many of the items have been on clearance to celebrate the holiday week. Um, this is clearance. It's priced to sell out. It's Spider Mountain, which is a specialty turquoise. <laughs> Most people don't even know it exists. These are not compressed nuggets. They are cut from a huge slabs, all natural color. That necklace 
in that capacity, in that size, if you saw it in Sedona or Tucson or in Arizona, if we were in a boutique in Scottsdale, yeah, I don't know, what would you pay for? Six, six seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand dollars? They charge a lot of money in those boutiques, right? Pricing varies all around the country, but you know that for something of that magnitude, and I'll show it really quickly, this really does have that, again, signature J. King style. There's a lot of turquoise there in a really substantial form. We're at 136 for Spider Mountain Turquoise. So we'll learn a little about it. Uh, I want to ask our amazing producer, Mr. Jared. Jared, how many do we have of the, uh, what is the actual breakdown? How many necklaces, earrings, and rings? If you want the necklaces, I have 750. If you want the earrings, I have, these are, this is a Black Friday special, obviously. If you want the earrings, there's 500. And if you want the ring, there's fewer than 400. So I do have some of the rings. That's my least availability. The best seller is going to be that necklace. Um, if you love turquoise and it's your stone of course it's uh, really a, a, a legacy gemstone now in the united states it's something that has such appeal has elevated so many ways in terms of how you wear this when you wear this and the difference it can make we do a lot of fabulous single strand smaller style turquoise necklaces at around $135. We obviously don't do pieces of this magnitude at this price. So I'll keep you abreast of the situation. Jay, I, I, one of my fondest memories of doing these shows with you will always be learning about, you know, we all know Sleeping Beauty turquoise. We all are aware of the Kingman Mine turquoise, but I love that you bring to us turquoises that quite frankly folks have never heard of before. You know, and um, I think that's one of my my true loves and my joys. You know, it, number one, turquoise was my first material I ever designed with. It was my first love. Uh, it was the you know the th the first material that I worked with. I you know I grew up in uh, uh, New Mexico and uh, northern New Mexico, so I mean we were exposed to it um, because of the mainly the Native American culture. Um, you know, they used it in a lot of their designs. And also uh, a lot of, you know, uh, where I grew up, uh, there was a lot of the turquoise mining uh, going on or in those, um, in the Four Corners region. Um, what makes this material so unique and different, it's really funny, it's called Spider Mountain. And a lot of people that see this think, oh, it's because of the spider webbing that you see going through the material, the matrix. That, that matrix there, when you see those kind of patterns, that's called spider web. Now, here's the thing, on the matrix on this material, that is the natural color of it. There's nothing done, it's that beautiful blue. But you can see the red veining in there, that's, that's ferrous oxide. So it's iron oxide crystals that have grown, that is the matrix that's in this turquoise. Here again, uh, Adam already uh, pointed out, the, this isn't compressed material. Right, these aren't compressed nugget materials, uh, which we do sometimes, you know, to be able to utilize the material and, and actually get the price. You're actually paying the price that you would pay for compressed material. This is all natural, solid material. Look at the look at the thickness of this turquoise. Think about how much turquoise is in this design. These are all free forms. That is the real deal. Every one of them uniquely different in their own right. Here again, you know, spider mountain. You think it's because of the spider webbing, the red spider webbing. It's not. Um, this actually, um, I don't have a picture, but you know, I, I need to go get a picture, and it will uh, show you. When you approach the area where the mine is, it, if you can imagine what a tarantula yeah. in dirt looks like, right. that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's where they got the name from. That's why they call it Spider Mountain. Is because it looks like a giant spider. Okay, it's really weird. You know, um, uh, it's like, in it's you know, most people. Uh, just so you understand, um, most turquoise. Uh, not not all. There are exceptions to the rules, but I would say the majority of the turquoise mines that I've ever been to, and I've been to a few. Okay, they're always in very arid regions, right? They're usually in high desert or desert areas. I have been to turquoise mines that are, that are either over the uh, timberline on mountains, or I've been to 
uh, turquoise mines that are in luscious forests, but not tropical, but, you know, high, high, uh, high, um, like evergreen pine forests, I've seen it there. But the majority of it comes from very arid, high desert or desert areas. And so, um, if you, you know, keeping that in mind, when you're, there's no trees really per se when you're going up to this mine, right? So you're just seeing this huge kind of like hill, not really a mountain. And the closer you get to it, you can always start seeing the ravines. And then when you get, get a certain distance from it, you can really see that it looks like a giant spider. So you have Spider Mountain. Uh, as far as I know, I don't have an exclusive on this. I will say this, I've never seen it on the commercial market. Right. Uh, for the markets that I know of, I don't know of anybody on the commercial market that has it. I don't know anybody else in the United States that that has this material that's selling it. I, I don't. I don't know. No, I don't. I'm not aware of anybody anyway. Necklace final few. We're over 70% sold through now. 136. Earrings are available for 99. And the ring in sizes five through 12 is available for 79 dollars and 83 cents. Thank you for your calls on this one. We are around five minutes away from the big moment, and it will be a moment. I enjoy these shows with Jay for many reasons, but one of the main ones is the fact that we get to present things that in some cases are once truly in a lifetime. And what we will be doing shortly is exactly that. An opportunity to get a stone, a gem that is gone in terms of premium quality to the best of our knowledge. Sharite, purple Sharite is coming up as the buy of the day, the buy of the show. Quite honestly, I said to Jay before the show, I mean, I've probably worked with Jay 30 times this year. The piece that we will be revealing after this is maybe the best buy of them all for many reasons that we'll get to. Uh, we gotta talk about this real fast because this is the easiest yes as a gift for you or a gift for somebody in your family. This is long and luscious and wonderful at 60 inches. I have lapis and black spinel, lapis and black spinel, love the blue, love the black, and again, lapis, lapis, lapis. That's the magic word. You hear lapis, you say, gotta have it. Gotta have lapis, especially under $90, the lowest price to date. I have black spinel with malachite. I have a soft spot for malachite. I love that green, and I think you will as well. Again, this is 60 inches. I can double this, I can triple this, I can wear this a million different ways. And we do have some, not many, but some of, and I'll move that down there just for a second, of the orange chalcedony. Look at that. The orange chalcedony with the black spinel. I'm, I'm stretching here, folks. I'm stretching muscles that haven't been stretched in a long time. This really, Jay, there's a lot of gemstone in this, 60 inches. Yeah, just so everybody knows, if I was, if I was uh, with Lynn like I was last night, I would <laughs> say what I normally say is that if you buy this, you'll have something taller than Lynn. <laughs> 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 and you know it's true because you know she's very cute, but she's very short. You know, petite, she's very yeah. small, very petite. And um, she always tells me, "Oh no, look, I'm taller than that." And I say, "Okay, take off those uh, eight-inch heels, you know, <laughs> that you're wearing, <laughs> and, and, and stand flat-footed and show me how tall you are." Um, this, you know, if you think about it, so you get you got gemstone taller than Lynn. Okay, <laughs> I mean, think about the amount of material. Do you think about think about this now? You, I mean, I look at the price, even the price that we had before. Just everybody knows. I mean, the prices that we have, um, it's because we're the manufacturers. Okay, I mean, we're you know we go to source. We do all the everything. There are no middlemen. It's as you know. It's um, I mean, it's, it's as clean an operation as you can get, and um, so that's why we're able to offer you the not only the materials the values oh my gosh christina you're my girl i'll tell you what is that core one and see she's demonstrating right think about all these the way you can wear them you can layer them she's done it in different ways and we had a contest one time and there it's different because of the size of the bead right with these though the reason i did these little small nuggets is the smaller the nugget on this the more versatile it is, the more different ways you can wear it. Um, but when we had like eight millimeter beads one time, we had a, a, a contest and it was to see who could make the most designs. Mm. And if I memory calls, I know I made 
with with one sixty inch necklace, I did it di us about uh, twenty different ways. But there's all kinds of different ways you can wear these. You can layer them. You can trissade them. Um, at this price, th these might be something that you know. And here again, don't break your bank. Don't don't do anything you know that you regret later. But if you know if you can swing it, um, this is something that you uh, all three colors have substance to them, right? You're going to use all three colors at one time or another in your wardrobe, I guarantee you. They're, they're basic, basic colors. It's a great look. You can see all the different ways. You can just wear it as a standalone, but it's also a great layering piece. Well, the three color choices, and I know it's hard to choose. There's the orange chalcedony, there's the malachite, which is the green, and then that blue with the black, that lapis, that is the best seller right now. And for obvious reasons, to get 60 inches of lapis, uh, for $89.97 is crazy good. Thank you for your orders on this one. I'm getting excited. It's about to happen, folks. If you go to hsn.com, you can find the best gifts ever uh, for everybody. Who do you need to buy for? Is it your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter? Gifts for absolutely everyone uh, at every price point. We're always excited to share our website with you. There are hundreds of thousands of items that we never even get a chance to show on the air. Somebody was asking me earlier, they said, do you guys sell the, the shopping for their son, teenage son? They said, do you have PlayStation 5s? I said, we have PlayStation 5s, yeah. People don't realize it. We've got so many of the latest electronics and gadgets, PS5s, the new Nintendo. Uh, there you go, right there, right there, PS5. We have um, Xboxes, I mean, you name it, we've got it, we got it. Save $20. We can save you money on anything and everything. If you apply for the HSN credit card and you get approved, you can take $20 off your first single item purchase. I wonder what that purchase could be. Maybe it will be what I'm about to show you. Folks, let me, before I reveal the price, let me just introduce what is a once in a lifetime. The Home Shopping Network was founded on bringing you things that you couldn't always find uh, in typical stores. And the same goes in the realm of jewelry. 20, 25 years ago, Jay King, exclusively on HSN, launched Sharite, purple Sharite, a unique exotic mine find, and it blew the doors off the building. For two and a half, three years nearly, it was Jay's most successful gemstone, with viewers and customers all across the country raving about it. After two years, it was gone because the premium double and triple A grade material had evaporated. It would vanish. There was none left that Jay could acquire. Nearly two years ago, Jay, and Jay will get into this, was able to source premium Sharite once again after a gap of 18 years. And over the past 18 months, we've been able to trickle through various pieces of that Sharite. The piece you're about to see is Jay's final premium double and triple A grade Sharite necklace. When we sell out of this necklace, there are no more. Will it be another 10, 15, 20 years until we see it again? I don't know. That's the nature of mine finds, is what you find. What's amazing, just before I reveal the price. Remember I told you earlier that HSN, the big wigs at HSN, they don't discriminate between jewelry or a pair of jeans or a lipstick clearance, this full. The price that I'm about to show you is even listed as clearance. Why? Because there's so few of them. That's because they don't know, and how could they know, that this piece is actually one of the most in demand we're ever gonna show you. So, for the final time, probably in my career, thank you, drum roll, I love it. Let's present Sharite at a clearance price, premium grade Sharite at a price and a value that quite simply money cannot buy. Purple Majesty, one, two, seven for the necklace. The earrings are 68 and the ring 
is coming in at 60. Take a look. That's what real premium authentic Sharite looks like. A single source stone from Russia. It is virtually impossible to find in that grade and in that quality. Folks, obviously I have a disclaimer. It's written right down here. When this sells out, which it will do in the next five minutes, there are no more. I don't have a wait list. I don't have extended delivery. I don't have advanced order. There are no more Sharite necklaces of this grade at this price. If I was a betting man, I would know that all J. King fans will buy this because they recognize the value, the opportunity. If you only buy one thing in the entire show, clearly it should be this, no doubt about it. And that's why from the very beginning tonight, wanted to make sure you know and knew that we were gonna be doing it. Already in excess of 300 orders coming through. I'll keep you abreast of the situation. I don't wanna misspeak. Jared, how many do we have left now with everybody ordering? On the necklace, approximately less than 1,000. 900 is what he's telling me. On the ring, if you want the ring, 350. That ring is gorgeous. If you want the earrings, I have 90 left there. 420 orders coming through. This is not a mistake. It is genuine real right for the final opportunity to get it. Jay, let's go back in history. Tell me about this. 20 years ago or so, you were the first to launch Purple Sharite on network TV, right? Yeah, actually, um, the Mindfind show for HSN, we were the first to really bring it to the market. And um, actually, uh, Connie, Craig, Carol, and I, we, we, made it, uh, we made it famous. Uh, we had about a three-year run. We had at least one piece or two pieces on every show. Um, they wouldn't even last milliseconds. Right. right? They were gone. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they, it was gone, right? I mean, you couldn't get it anymore. Well, there was a reason for that. I couldn't get the material, right? Now, I could get the low grade material. I sure. could get, you know, uh, I could get the B grade, the C grade, D grade, E, F grade. You can still get it to this day. Um, even though the price even on that stuff has gone up. But all of the A, double A, triple A material, no way. Uh, no, you know, as they say in uh, New Mexico, no mas, right? <laughs> um, it, it, just, it just went away. Um, funny enough, a few years back, I was in Tucson and um, got hooked up with somebody who had triple A grade charite. And we, they had a small amount. We worked it. Turned out that... Um, it was coming from the original source the, um, the, of the, the original miner, one of the original um, miners of the Sharite that I was buying from at that time, over 20 years before. It, um, he, it was his uncle, the guy I was getting it from, his uncle had passed away, and his uncle had told us he didn't have any more of this grade, right? <laughs> so his uncle lied, all right? Um, <laughs> But he didn't, you know, this was his stash. I mean, this was all his private. Look at the grade of this stuff. It's like, I mean, it's like glow in the dark charade. Yes. You're not going to get this, guys. Um, you know, this this was like, it was just incredible that we, we got it. It's We've beautiful. had a little run on it. I'm out of the material. There is no way to replace it. What he did is he inherited his uncle's material. And so he has it to sell off. But it literally had been off the market for well over 20 years. And you didn't have it. Now, we've been presenting it. And everybody, so now everybody always thinks, oh, yeah, well, yeah, he says that. But there's always, you know, he's always got char eight. No. no. Okay. Sorry. When this is gone. And if you look at the grade of this material, this was some of the last... The, this, I think this was probably the last design. If there's any other charrette, it's things that are already in production that were already done. I have no more material to work with. I guarantee you. I, and the reason I can say that is this. Um, our buyer wanted to uh, do a feature uh, design in charrette for a project. And uh, I had to let her know that, I mean, um, it's impossible. Right. And, because uh, I can't get it. There's none on the market. Uh, yeah, there's there's none out there. I don't know of anybody that has it. Uh, I, if anybody that does have it, I don't know anybody that's willing to sell it. Uh, they're all using it in their own projects. And here again, this is a material. We work in silver, but we used to work in gold too. But this isn't a material normally that, that is reserved in this grade, 
Okay, let me reanalyze that. Just not just shard, sure. but shard in this grade That's of material right. is usually reserved for only gold. I mean, you don't you don't see it in silver at all. And Jay, what we're doing to make this fair for everybody, because again, I don't. There is no advanced order or any. This is it. We are counting backwards. That will hit zero in the next four minutes at the very most. I, I, I'm being generous on four minutes. It's probably more like two and a half minutes or three minutes. If you would like to try it on, no obligation. You can do, you have till the end of January. I am always, always very specific with you. I want you to know when I know something is that special, that particular, that important. And that's exactly what this is. We've had two hours of mine finds and every one is beautiful in its own right, but money cannot buy this. I don't have a show with Jay next week with a necklace like this in premium grade Shah right. Remember, it's the best you can buy at any price, let alone the added extra, which is the clearance. I mean, I know I said it at the beginning, but let's not take that for granted. The nuts thing about it is that it's even on clearance. And the only reason is, and it's the only way I can explain it, HSN is such a vast business that th there's not somebody going, well, that's purple shah right, don't you know? We're not, even, there's only, even though there's only a few left, we mustn't put that on clearance. Jay, it doesn't work like that. These are those opportunistic moments where it's the perfect storm you're getting the last of, the best of, at the lowest price of. You can't beat it. And it's interesting, the ring is selling as fast as the necklace. And maybe that's because the ring is more your thing, and that's great. It sizes five through 12, lots of sterling silver in there. But Jay, just to own a piece of purple Sharite at this values, it's worth every single penny. Oh, like I said, I mean, um, when, when Connie and I originally launched this and we brought it to the market, uh, which Mind Finds has brought a lot of materials to the market, this was a thing that Shani and, uh, Connie and I used to just grin every time because we had we knew that we had those one or two or three designs, and we knew for sure as soon as you put it out there, it was gone, right? And you would never ever see it again, right? And um, and then. Um, uh, we would make it, it would sell. And then after three years, we had people for forever and ever asking us when we were gonna bring Shari back. And I kept trying to explain to it, I can't make designs when you don't have the material. So to find this material, but I, I found, what I, I think I found so ironic about this though, is that I'm actually selling material that started it. It was from the original source. It was from, it was from the material that that the original miner had stashed away, right? And I come from a mining family on my mother's side of the family. And I guarantee you, miners are really funny people, right? This is their 401k, right? <laughs> this is what they do when they mine. They, I guarantee you, every miner, that's why, you know, some of the best contacts you can have are widows of miners, right? Because I guarantee you, there's a barn or a garage or a hanger or something full of the real <laughs> primo material. I mean, it's just indicative of miners, of guys that are actually mining, right? My uncle, all, they, all of them, the cousins, they they had, they always had stuff. I mean, they always had specimens and stuff that were just out of the world, you know? I mean, things that, you know, that, you know, they've been they're mining and they, they found. I mean, you know, like they were, you know, that, that they never launched to the public, right? They never released it. But this is the kind of the grade of material that they kept uh, for themselves. Look at the color on this, this and that's what's amazing. Another thing with Sharik too, is it's chatoyant, it has that property of chatoyancy. Not a lot of materials, you know, like, um, so you've got seraphonite, um, you know, uh, Sharite, you've got, um, uh, uh, like tiger's eye it has the property of chatoyancy. There's, it's, it's just the, the phenomena of chatoyancy is rare uh, in uh, finding materials that actually have a natural chatoyancy to them. So it's got a natural bling to it. But the one thing I'll point out here, and if you, you've seen the one that Christina's wearing, you see the ones Adams are, is showing here. It, one thing that you notice is that they're all uniquely different in their own right. But the one thing that they're all the same is they're in that top, 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 top grade material. And that's the distinction 
that makes the, the difference, difference, right? That you're right. getting the premium grade because, Jay's like you said, you could bring low-grade Charite, certainly, but that's what you've not based your reputation on. You, you, when it comes to stuff, you, you want the best. Well, you know, we, we want things, um, of, of course. I mean, you know, that's what we strive for. We strive for, um, um, even now, um, one of the things, like I said earlier, you know, that, you know, I've learned a lot of lessons in, in, uh, in doing uh, my, my, in my career as I've uh, gone through it. And one of the lessons that I learned is I used to try to buy everything cheap and I would buy what they call mine run, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, then you, so you take the whole load from the mine and then you go and you sort it out and you cob it out and everything. What I found out later in life, okay, um, it, I wish it was earlier than it was before the reality <laughs> stuck with me. But now I pay more and I do what they call mine select. So we only take the higher grade material. That's all we take. We don't take any of the mine run. We don't take any of the lower grade material. We pay a premium for that. Okay, we make, you know, the miners, of course, you're taking the best material. Sure. You gotta pay a higher price. But because we buy such a huge volume, we're still able to, to work a really good deal. I mean, we're, we'll get a deal where other people can't get that deal. Um, but we buy the select material. This material, like I said, even at any price, when you can't find it, right, when it doesn't exist, it doesn't make any difference how much money you have or how much money you're willing to offer. You're not going to be able to get it. I don't know of any of this material that's available in this grade. Okay, I can, there are there is lower grade charite out sure. there for sale, um, but in this grade, I I'm not aware of anybody that's got it. Well, Jay, in 30 seconds time, because obviously this is sold out even faster than we anticipated, uh, and if you are on the phone line, we are counting you in. So just stand by. I have uh, less than a hundred left. Um, but we are gonna do something special to end the show for anybody that's tuning in a little late to us. This has been a Black Friday celebration with many pieces at spectacular prices. This obviously is amazing. Thank you for your orders. It is officially sold out. Um, congratulations. Stay in the ordering process. If you are there, we are counting you in. You just bagged an extraordinary once in a lifetime piece of jewelry. Okay, I'm gonna leave that right there. And folks, I am over the moon that they're allowing me to do this. I'm gonna pop up on that side. In the first hour, we revealed our very first Black Friday special. You may have missed it, and if you did, we're gonna do an encore. There's not many left, but behind this present is the largest genuine emerald necklace ever to be featured on the Home Shopping Network. Coming in at approximately 200 carats of genuine emerald, all natural, all authentic. We premiered a price that was just extraordinary. Your friends have never seen anything like this. Dripping in genuine, gorgeous, luscious, royal green emerald. You think about the biggest in the world, you talk rubies, sapphires, diamonds and emeralds, the things of kings and queens, this is an emerald necklace for 139. If we go to the mall and we go to the department store and we buy fashion jewelry, acrylic jewelry, faux jewelry, we would spend more than $139. Come close, you're gonna see real color. You'll see real color that's not been treated or enhanced in that way. Real mother nature's miracle emerald. Obviously revered and admired and collected and passed down from generation to generation over our lifetimes. This is two strands, hundreds of carats of real emerald. That is the lowest price ever at 139. I have fewer than 300 left. Fewer than 300 left. If you missed out initially, this is a chance to order it. It comes basically 18 inches, but with Jay's signature sterling silver uh, clasp, uh, with the, um, the heart that dangles down, I can adjust that so you can certainly have more length. It's coming in from 18 inches to 20 and three quarters, unmistakably emerald. Jay, in our lifetime, I certainly never 
ever imagined I would be on television presenting hundreds of carats of emerald at a price tag that is attainable and affordable. Tell us about our other superstar piece of this special Black Friday show. Well, you know, in, in Emerald, um, so anybody who's, um, you know, we've been, the Mind Find show, we've had the privilege of uh, being on air now for 27 years. This was our 27th season. And, you know, we do that because uh, we have, um, obviously, uh, support people like what we do. And uh, these are the kind of things that we do, okay? That um, now I will, uh, I will say this, um, uh, in my world travels, I knew about Emerald for a long, long time, right? I've been all over Colombia, I've been all over South America, um, but you know, Colombian Emeralds, you don't find Emeralds, although now they're finding it in Africa. Uh, that's one of the new sources for Emerald. Um, but I had always stayed away from Emerald and the reason was is because it wasn't affordable. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't get any kind of volume. Um, the prices were crazy. So um, I was really, when I uh, started sourcing different miners and putting together different deals, like I said, this comes not from one deposit, this comes from 14 small deposits, 14 small claims we put it together. This is, what you're looking at here is as close to how it comes to us, right? This is how it comes, it comes out of the ground like this. These natural crystals, these natural nuggets. Um, and then all I did on this is we hand polished them. So every one of them has been polished. Great now, show. this material is not bad material, okay? This grade of material is not a bad grade of material. I just want everybody to know that. Mm -hmm. I did this on purpose. I could take this, all this material, and I could cut faceted rondelles or it, I could sure. maybe cut some small rounds, but mainly rondelles because of the shapes of the nuggets. But this material faceted would sparkle and gleam. I just want to keep it as natural as possible because there are people out there like like me that I like stuff like this, right? Yes. I'm I'm a raw count, yeah. right? This is the natural way that it comes. That's another thing with this emerald. This hasn't been treated, Adam. It's not color enhanced. It's not, you know, most emeralds that you see in the jewelry stores, and it's not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It enhances the price sometimes and the beauty of it. Right. But there is, the majority of them are enhanced in some way. They're either heat treated, they're oil treated, they're laser treated, they're radiated. They've done something to them to bring out the color. This is all the natural color. If you took this and enhanced this, this would be the most glow-in-the-dark, vibrant green. But um, this is the natural color. Well, I am over the moon that you're loving it as much as we are. It deserves to be put on a pedestal. And I'm thrilled that Jay can explain it to us and express the inherent beauty in this. Real emerald, 200 carats of it for 139. It, it beggars belief, it just doesn't seem real, but it is. It's a Black Friday special. The show was built around two items, the Sharite, which is now sold out, and the Emeralds from the first hour. With everyone on the phone line, we have fewer than 200 remaining, over 600 orders through, and for good reason. It's a treat, it's an indulgence, but it's precious. Real Emeralds, like real sapphires and rubies and diamonds, are amongst the finest things that money can buy. When you see, uh, uh, beautiful shot, gorgeous shot right now. You, you notice that it's, it, it looks affluent, it looks aspirational, it looks elevated, it looks distinctive for sure. It's not same old, same old. Jay, even if there was a, a, a three instead of a one on that price or a four instead of a one, it would be worth, in my opinion, every penny because you're, you're, you're simply embracing the beauty of emerald as it comes out of the ground and a joyous piece that you will wear forever in a day. I mean, this is a lifetime piece of jewelry. Yeah, you know, if you think about it, Adam, I mean, what would you pay? But um, just, just so, everybody, I just want you to think about this. Where have you seen a natural Brazilian emerald necklace at all? Much less, I mean, other than mine finds. Where have you seen it in the jewelry store? Where where, where have you been out and seen it? So, Jay, I mean, it's just crazy. They, I don't know where the time goes. They're saying, Adam, you've got to stop. We, we run out of time. Amy's coming <laughs> yes. up. Jay, we, I, we love you. We appreciate spending time with you. When are you back next? 
Um, I come back sometime. I'm not back till like mid December, end de December, sometime date. Uh, I don't know, but I know that we're working together. So can't wait to see you, Jay. We love you. Thank you, know, you so I, much, I love sir. Working with your brother, and I really always appreciate your time. Thank you. Discover a world of beauty like you've never seen before. Beauty Report is the insider's guide to getting gorgeous. Join me every Wednesday night for a beautiful new routine. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Want to be the best gift giver this season? It couldn't be easier at the hsn.com gift store, where you can find thousands of gifts for everyone on your list. Just search by person, price, category, or even by interest, and we'll take care of the rest. Discover our holiday gift guides and get inspired by our festive tips and tricks videos. You'll never run out of ideas at the gift store. Search gifts at hsn.com.